On March 6, 2017, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte signed Executive Order 15, creating the Interagency Committee on Anti-Illegal Drugs or ICAD and Anti-Illegal Drugs Task Force. The Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency or PIDEA will be the chairperson of ICAD with 20 national government agencies as members. ICAD will oversee and synchronize government efforts to suppress the drug problem in the country. The 20 agencies represented in the committee are the following. Department of Justice, Department of the Interior and Local Government, Dangerous Drugs Board, Philippine National Police, National Bureau of Investigation, Department of Health, Anti-Money Laundering Council, Office of the Solicitor General, Department of Education, Department of Social Welfare and Development, Department of Trade and Industry, Department of Agriculture, Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, Philippine Information Agency, Public Attorney's Office, Philippine Coast Guard, Bureau of Customs, Bureau of Immigration, Department of National Defense, Armed Forces of the Philippines. The member agencies are ordered to designate a permanent representative to the ICAD. The ICAD shall ensure that each member agency shall implement and comply with all policies, laws, and issuances pertaining to the government's anti-illegal drug campaign in an integrated and synchronized manner. Its tasks include ensuring the conduct of anti-illegal drug operations and the rest of high-value drug personalities and street-level peddlers and users. It is also duty-bound to cleanse the bureaucracy of unscrupulous personnel involved in illegal drug activities and conduct advocacy campaign initiatives. I think it's uh, nice to be able to do that. Because I also have a willing to be able to do that. So that I can be able to do that in society, in my life, and also in my family. And I also have a willing to be able to do that. So now it's going to be able to do that. So now it's going to be able to do that. So my emotions, my thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts. So, napakalaking bagay sa akin nung natulong ng Megadot RC na naibali ko lahat yung mga nawala sa akin. My goal now is to help them, help the family. So, isa kaming pamilya dito, gusto ko silang tulungan or i-motivate din sila para pagdating na lang namin sa labas, maging fully sober na rin. It is expected to see the implementation of the National Anti-Drug Plan of the Action and of the Barangay Drug Clearing Program. The ICAD can enlist the assistance of public and private agencies, including local government units, to help the government's anti-drug campaign. It will seek the assistance of the Office of the Ombudsman in the investigation and prosecution of public officials involved in illegal drug activities. The ICAD members are divided into four clusters that will handle specific tasks. Enforcement, Justice, Advocacy, and Rehabilitation and Reintegration. The Enforcement Cluster will spearhead the conduct of anti-illegal drug operations. The Justice Cluster will ensure the speedy prosecution of all drug cases and will provide legal assistance to law enforcers and public attorneys for the protection of individuals' rights. For example, in cases of voluntary surrender or warrantless arrests during anti-drug operations, the Advocacy Cluster will conduct a nationwide advocacy campaign for the government's anti-illegal drug policy. The Rehabilitation and Reintegration Cluster will implement drug rehabilitation programs and make sure that former drug dependents and other drug personalities are reintegrated into society and become useful members of it. Members shall submit periodic reports to their cluster heads. All cluster reports are to be submitted to the Office of the President. Kita mo pag surrender sa TV. Kala mo sa Nazi camp concentration, puro payat, puro balnores, puro bangag. What are you doing to my country? And I said, I stake my life, honor, and the presidency itself. I will not allow my country to go to the dogs.